Hey, bro, you got the stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just open your bag. Oh, okay. We don't got all day. Bro. Yeah. So this is, there's body spray in here, right? Yeah, like you asked. Yeah. 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 Why is there contact cleaner? No, you didn't ask for that, did you? No, Hold I on. didn't. Hold on. Oh, okay. So, little mix up, must have mixed up the bottles, but uh, still work, bro. I mean, I've tried it once. Here, look, open up. Get that away from me. What? What? Just chill, dog. Stop. Okay, 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 whatever, fine. I see you're agitated. Yeah. You know what Do you have the weed or not? You know what? Yeah. I don't like your attitude, though. But whatever, fine. Just pop the hood, bro. I got a system of how I hide it. So just pop the hood. What? Just pop the hood, bro. Dang. I'm in a bad mood. Jesus. Bro, really? What? First, you put the weed in my house. Yeah. Now it's in my car. Well, I mean, where else was I supposed to hide it? You told me not to put it in your house. What if I got pulled over? Oh, yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess I didn't think that far ahead. My bad, bro. C can you just hurry up, please? This. What else are you supposed to do right now? Oh, okay, I'll roll it. My bad. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Just give me some time. All right, bro. <laughs> Let's get lit, bro. Light it up. <laughs> Dog, it's a one time. Bro, tonight gonna be a weird <laughs> since we ate those two blunts. Uh, uh, hey, did, did you throw up here? Nah, dog, but I can't feel my face. Uh. Hey, hey, you see those two pigeons over there? Bro, huh. that's a flagpole. I th oh. I think you need to go home. Yeah, I need to go home and lie down, bro. Probably. Wait, huh. before you go. Why do I feel like there's something we're supposed to do? Hey, hey, bro, we're supposed to go take care of those two fools, bro. That's the whole point. Bro, those two fools that have been disrespecting our hood the whole time. What? That's why we're here. What? Bro, just, just start the car and let's go. Come on. J just one question. What? Where are the keys? In the ignition? Where you put them? Oh. Okay, now... You just you just turned the car off, bro. Turn it back on. There you there go. go. There you go. Now I'm gassing, bro. Yeah. Hey, Start driving. Hold on. Huh? Wait, which one's the gas? Just let me drive, bro. Found it. Damn, bro. Chill. My bad, bro. Bro, how do you expect us to run on these foods out music, bro? Uh, pass the ox, bro. Take yeah. care of that. Alright, there you go. Hey, bro, this song slaps, bro. Hey, 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 there they go right there, bro. Pull up. I was bracking blood. Hello, sir. My name is Bud. Uh, both members, one of the members had their safeties on and the other one only got one shot off so we're assuming that he had his safety on for the duration of the fight until about the end resulting in one bullet uh, being shot off and then once they were taken out their vehicle and another car resulting in a car crash so we're not sure whether that caused more trauma to the, uh, to the victims but as far as we can tell it's up for grabs Hey and what do we have evidence wise? 
Uh, Evans wise, we also have the ones. Uh, there's some of the ones in an autopsy lab, I want them tested for THC, and I also want them, I also want to figure out how they were killed. Alright, well, we sent them already to the coroner's office, so we'll have the results in a few days, sir. Okay, and uh, suspects, what do you have? Alright, well, we know that this particular uh, set of bloods have been beaten with another and we know that their gang leader is by the name of Young Chino. So we're going to go get a search warrant and search the premises and see what we can dig up. Okay. Um, let me just ask you, officer, were you the first responder on this? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Um, do you do you know that man over there? He looks very suspicious. Oh my God, that's Young Chino. <laughs> so after receiving the various firearms, we ended up taking fingerprints of the firearm. That's actually this one, and then uh, we found it near the casualty who ended up not having an ID. So we took his firearm. And then we used the powder to identify a clean print on the side of the handgun. So we took the fingerprint and we used the integrated automated fingerprint identification service to identify the victim as Jacob Parra. And we also took the fingerprints and using the powder to identify one of the killers. And later using the same technique, once again, with the firearm that was matched to the bullet in the Middle Eastern victim. And this identification later helped lead to help the DA's case and it ended up connecting the assailant with the victim. Hello, I'm the Glock manufacturing uh, expert. I was brought into this case uh, based on the weaponry, weaponry used in this case and the firearms that were used as well. Um, all the weapons used were Glocks. Uh, the two victims, uh, one by the alias of Young Speedy and the other by Poya Riazi de Kesha. Uh, arrived, uh, they rolled down their window, were immediately fired upon by the suspect after uh, an incursion between the, two, uh, between the two. This young Chino, after this incursion, immediately fired upon the two of them, in which case both the driver, uh, Riazi de Kesha, and the passenger, uh, by the alias of Young Speedy, uh, they both uh, dry fired. Uh, what dry firing is, is uh, it's when you fire with the safety on. Your guns were faulty. Not supposed to dry fire with the safety on. You're supposed to not fire. And you can tell that they did dry fire by the extensive uh, extenuation of the uh, of the spring uh, within the gun. It leads me to believe that both their safeties were on uh, as they were going to do the drive by, which is incredibly unsafe to say the least to already be partaking in a drive by, let alone keep your safeties on when you're about to do it. Uh, both of them lost their lives over it. Uh, of the five bullets fired, only one was fired from a gun of the two uh, victims uh, by the gun of Young Speedy. He was able to fire off another shot and tell by the, uh, the bullet he has that is empty from his mag and the casing that, uh, within the car under his feet. Three bullets hit the suspects. One bullet hit Young Speedy in the uh, head, uh, immediately killing him. Uh, two bullets hit Poi Rousey Kesha once in the, uh, within the heart, within the artery, uh, right to the right of the heart. And uh, the other one within the neck, so we just bled out uh, before responders were able to get to there. So, bullets, all three, were matched to uh, Young Chino's weapon. The last bullet was fired, uh, got lodged in the door, missed both of them, uh, and all four bullets were able to be uh, connected to Young Chino. So, that is how uh, Young Chino fired upon them and was fired back uh, for a total of five bullets in all, along well, the county toxicologist. I was brought into this case uh, to help identify whether or not the, the victims were on any controlled substances at the time of their death. Uh, when I first uh, received their bodies, uh, I took immediate blood samples and tissue samples of their lungs to identify whether or not they were on a controlled substance. As the controlled substance was slowly deteriorating, uh, time was against me. Uh, I immediately got the tests back uh, a while later, and they had come down to the conclusion that a uh, both the victims had been on THC or marijuana. Uh, then tests from the lung tissue did uh, confirm trace amounts of the 
tissue and lung having THC within the uh, within their lungs. So it is uh, apparent that they smoked it uh, as opposed to uh, any other way. Uh, lo and behold, should it be found. So both these uh, victims were under the influence when they decided to do the drive-by, which is interesting that uh, marijuana would usually lead you to another direction rather than uh, something as high octane as a drive-by. And it might have led to the, uh, the neural system kind of slowing down, which would explain why the two victims did have their safeties on uh, at the time of the drive-by. Due to the slowing of the neural system, uh, when they did go through the drive-by, neither of them realized they had their safeties on until after they were being fired upon at that point. What are you going to do? Well, I'm the state hematologist that was called to this case due to an unknown person, uh, only known by the name or alias of Young Chino, and I was called in to identify and help the, uh, the city and the county identify the uh, suspect. Uh, when, at the occurrence of the drive-by, he was shot once in the shoulder, and therefore, uh, did have blood on scene. Uh, this is obviously the bullet fired by the gun of a uh, young Speedy. I was able to run tests, and I was able to identify, uh, based on blood samples of previous crimes, who the, what the real name of this alias Young Chino was. He goes by the name of Ling Ling, but it might be just, uh, another alias, or another fake name. Uh, that's the name we have in the system at the time of his arrest, and he was arrested on tax evasion of all of the things. Obviously, he has a past record or prior record, uh, which led to his conviction, and led to a little bit of a harsher sentence. At the time, uh, we were able to identify uh, another one of the victims, Young Speedy, who his alias was, and he was a, uh, a man by the name of uh, Ryan Ulysses, which is one weird name uh, for a suspect, or for a victim, for either a suspect or a victim. So. Uh, you were able to find out the uh, real names of the alias Young Chino and Young Speedy as uh, Ling Ling and uh, Ryan Ulysses. Hey bro, you got the stuff? Do you remember what my line was? The script is right there. Why do they can't hold that? <laughs> <laughs> you have the weed or not? Uh. Okay, so I made a system, right? Oh god. You wanna hear my <laughs> I'm sorry. From an unidentified suspect as a right now. What? Bro, you need to chill, bro. Gosh. You're so this is <laughs> Why did you keep going? Because <laughs> it would have been funny. <laughs> hey, do you laugh? Yeah. I couldn't get a bill paid. You couldn't buy the real thing. I was staying up at your place, trying to figure out the whole thing. I saw people doing things, almost gave up on the music thing. But we all so spoiled now, more life, more everything. Must have never had your phone tap, all that yapping on the phone. You must really love the road life, all that never coming home. Free smoke, free smoke, ayy. Free smoke, free smoke, ayy. Free smoke, free smoke, ayy.